Hey guys, I'm going to do a quick video on some helpful things if you're trading ICT and you're also using Sierra Chart. Um, these are just some things that I like to implement and we're just going to start a brand new chart and get everything set up from there just to make it a little bit easier. Um, right, so we're going to go open new intraday chart. I'm just going to open a S&P. Let's maximize that. And I'll go to chart and I'm going to switch it to candlestick bars. Um, so there's a few things I like to do, um, right? With ICT, um, the market structure becomes very important. And so I like to put in a zigzag study from the studies. You can type the Z and it should bring you down to here. I'm going to hit apply and then we're going to go in here and change some of the settings so that you can see the highs and lows that are significant. And obviously this will be adjusted to your liking. Um, so first I'm going to remove this line that goes from the swing highs to the swing lows. And so we're going to go to here and go to ignore and hit apply. And so now that will be gone. And then we'll want to go down here into the settings and there's a setting to extend endpoints until further intersection. And I'm going to change that to the yes. And so as you can see now we can see the market structure, but let's say you want it to be a little bit more, um, well, you want a little bit more lines and you want it to be a little bit more sensitive. You can switch this number. The default's 0.5, so let's say I do 0.4. See, now you can start seeing more lines here. And so you're just going to adjust that to your liking, whether that's 0 0.5, 0 0.4, 0 0.35, um, depending on what time frame you are trading on. I kind of like, I think like 0.35 is about the sweet spot for me. And then the next thing is um, there is a fair value gap study. And I got this study from one of my friends who made it named GC, credit to him. Um, so he has a study and I'll link it in the description. You can download it and then you drag it into your data files. And then it should just show up when you go to your add custom study and it'll just be under GC5150 studies. And then you click the down arrow. And then in here, he has a fair value gap study and so that way you can have the fair value gap showing. And then also another thing you could do is you could have it um, copy over from a different time frame this fair value gap study. So you could do a five minute chart and put the fair value gaps on it and then have this chart linked that to that one so it only shows the five minute fair value gaps while you could still have the chart on a one minute. And so these are the two main things that I do. So you can see, right, you can see wherever there is um, liquidity, whether that's relative equal highs, you see these two lines right here are very near to each other. And so that would be a sign of liquidity. We took that out, right? And then you can see the shifts in structure. And I actually think this is probably not sensitive enough, especially once you switch the time frame. And so you can go in, lower this to like 0.25, and there we're getting more um, lines. And so create a new high, break in structure, go up into that fair value gap, down. And then we take out these points of liquidity, which can be our targets. And so I just essentially do those two things as the main things when I'm trading using ICT and using Sierra chart along with it.